Some of you are probably wondering where or even how proteins get made. Well, we're sitting out here in the endoplasmic reticulum where all the ribosomes are. Now, a ribosome is basically like a workstation or a workplace, a tiny factory that makes proteins. In order to get the instructions from the proteins, we need to back up a minute. We need to get the message from the genes or the DNA itself. We're here inside of a library because like a library, DNA is full of all the information you're ever going to need to build your body. Now, also like a library, these books are sacred. You don't want to take this outside in the cell where it could get damaged. So how can I get this information that's in this book out to the cell? Well, we can make a copy of it. Let's go. So I can take my DNA and make a copy. That copy is called messenger RNA, and we'll take that over to the ribosome. So we got to get this information from the DNA to the ribosome in the form of messenger RNA. Let's go. Perfect, thank you. Now, once the ribosomes get their instructions, they'll take this and they'll send another protein out called a transfer RNA to get all of the amino acids, the building blocks, if you remember, to a start assembling the proteins. So, uh, I need some methionine. I need some isoleucine. Some phenylalanine and some tryptophan, all right? So hurry back. So, now, once these transfer RNAs bring the amino acids back to the ribosome, they're assembled one end to the next, carboxyl to amine, carboxyl to amine, like cars on a train. This leaves the random or R group free to basically give the protein its own specific and unique set of structures or functions. Now, uh, we'll move on to more specific shapes later on. Go ahead and follow me now to the more general shapes coming up next.